What's going on guys, my name is Jordan and welcome to a video on Hearts of Iron for modding the National Focus Create tool. This is the beta version, you'll see that we're on beta.hy4modding.com which is currently what you're going to get uh, navigated to, or told to navigate to if you come to the existing site, which I'm hoping some of you have used. If you have, then that's great. Most of what's on the beta is the same, a few things have changed. And if you haven't used it before, that's great, please use the beta version because it's a lot better than this one, to be honest with you. I've rewritten it from scratch because this one, it works, but it needed some work doing to make it work great. So, that's what we're doing here today. So, if I click onto my account, you have accounts now. Uh, you have all your mods here, where you can go in and edit them. So here, my test mod, I have four focuses for England set. These are just test focuses. Nothing nothing crazy here. Go home and we're actually going to go and create a new one. So on the home page we have a button here to create one. Uh, there will be more buttons actually here because at the minute this is just going to list everyone's focus trees. There, there's a button up here but it's not very obvious. So we can either select a mod that we're going to add our focus trees to if you have created a mod. If not then you need to create a new mod. I'm going to create one for my test mod. This focus tree ID will be Germany. It doesn't really matter what you put in here. The language for this is going to be English for me. And it's going to be for the German Reich. And submit. So you'll see the sidebar here is a little different to the one that we had on here. You're no longer able to import or export from here at the minute. Um, importing will... Well, I don't know when I'm going to do that. Exporting is currently available, but it's not done here. I will show you where to do that later. So, we add our focuses the same way. So we're going to give this a name of new focus. Doesn't really matter what you put in here, obviously, because this is all this is all whatever you're going to call it. I'm going to give him an icon of that guy. And now we have our new builder. So if, if you've used this tool before, you'll, you'll know this builder is very crap. It's very basic. We we can't really do a lot with it uh, in terms of if you want to have multiple things. It's like, yeah, w what's going on here, right? There's just so much. So now what we have is we're going to target a specific country, which is going to be France, which we now drag up into here. We click on there to choose our country, so it's not just popping stuff up randomly. And um, we're going to say France. Doesn't really matter who you pick, obviously. Uh, and then we're going to go political power which we're going to add in there so you can either add it there to add it to yourself or you could add it up there to and then you click it to change so we're going to add 150 political power to us press submit to save that change and France will get 50 because I'm too lazy to think of an actual focus to do here and we're going to submit that and it will put it in here for us it looks a little bit weird but that's perfectly valid that'll be fine uh, that's actually a reward, not a bypass, but it, it doesn't matter. Let's go put that down there. So, mutually exclusive, we've not got any focuses to be mutually exclusive with, so we can ignore that. AI will do factor, this is all to do with the AI and how stuff works. And let's put it at zero, 0, and press submit. So, our focus is up here now. We've got a little pop out here so we can edit it. And if you actually click, you can drag it so we have it over there now. And let's add another focus. So, second focus. Another description for that. Amazing descriptions. And this one, we're going to say the prerequisite of the new focus that we did. This one will go, uh, I don't know, 5 0, uh, 5 5. I, I, I don't know where this is going to end up on here. And let's go put it down there. Oh, that's reset over there. Mm, I thought I fixed that. I did, but it's being weird. <laughs> As I say, this is a beta, so it's still a little bit buggy. But it, in terms of the features, this is a lot better than the the tool up here. So uh, yeah. Now, once you've got your focus all sorted in with every focus that you wanted to do, we go and view the mod. And here we have the option to export. These should be on two lines. Let's say, bugs! Great! <laughs> so, when we're done, we export the mod. And we have our mod here. Which we're just going to go back into the root folder for now. It doesn't really matter. 
And then we go into... Where's my steam? Steam. And we load up Hearts of Iron 4. And when that's loaded, then we go into our mods here. And we select what mod it is we're going to do. We don't actually have a mod yet. We've, I've created a few in here and some of the other mods from the thing. But we're going to create a new mod. I'm going to call this, I don't know, new test mod. What you put in here, this is all going to be in your local thing. So whatever you put in here, it's, it's up to you. This is going to have national focuses. And it tells you there where it gets saved to. So for me, it saves it to my documents, Paradox Interactive, Hearts of Iron 4, mod, and then we'll have a new test mod here that we created. And then we open up our folder here and copy all that into new test mod. And now if we press play, don't forget to enable your mod. When the game loads, England should have a, or the United Kingdom should have a focus tree of four focuses and Germany should have one of two. That's what we have here. So when your game loads, if you remember to enable your mod, like I forgot to first time I actually loaded this, and we go in for a new game, we select one of our countries that we've created a new national focus tree for, such as either the UK or Germany. You should see that we have our new focus tree, which obviously you take just like any other focus tree. You, you've built it, you, you balanced it, you should know what's the best route. For this one, it, that's the worst route because you're doing only one focus, but hey ho. And for that one, hmm. I'm sure it's an icon for those. Anyway, I, I will have to investigate that bug too. And that brings us on to the final thing, bug reports. So, with the old tool, I was getting bug reports everywhere. So, this was on Reddit, on Twitter, on YouTube, on GitHub. So, now we have a reporter bug feature. You click here, and you can see all bugs have already been listed. So, there's a few. There's a few. Not, not a lot, but a few. Most of these have been resolved. So, we can create a new post here. And we can say broken icons, some icons of Linux, ported, are not working. I'm going to create that post because I will forget about it if I don't make that post. But that is it for today. Obviously, if you're logged in, you're not going to see all of these. This is just because I'm an admin. Uh, this is part of the forum that's on the site as well, so obviously you can have a general chat with people. Site suggestions are here as well. Find people for your modding teams. Anything and everything. But that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section down below or on the forums on this website, because I actively monitor them here too. But until then, guys, I'm George95. I'm signing out. I'll see you next time. Bye now.